Warcraft 3 refunded, I mean reforged. reforged. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the lies, the, I mean the words, the words of the developer. Warcraft 3 Reforged is just a bad version of what my... It doesn't sit... Read the words, I don't do it. Warcraft 3 Reforged is a stunning reimagining of the revolutionary real-time strategy game that laid the foundation for Azeroth's most epic stories. It is a remake in the truest sense. <laughs> Featuring a thorough visual overhaul, a suite of contemporary social and matchmaking features. And more, there's more. Command the night elves, the undead, the. <laughs> Command the Night Elves, Undead, Orcs and Humans as alliances shift and armies clash in this timeless, real-time strategy game. Guys, I actually don't know where to start with this. As you know, all my reviews are unscripted. I'm just going straight off the top of my head here. And I'm, I'm in mind overload here. I've been playing this game now since it launched pretty much two solid days. I'm just over halfway through the 60 uh, single-player missions. Um, that is over seven campaigns because this is not only Warcraft 3, but it's Warcraft 3 and the next add-on as well. You get them both in this. But I've stopped playing now because I've done it all before When I because I owned Warcraft 3 back in 2002 and the add-ons. I played it a lot back then. I loved the game. I loved all real-time strategy games back then. I cut my teeth on June 2, uh, Command & Conquer, Starcraft and uh, the very first Warcraft. And Warcraft 3 was a, a really good game. It wasn't my favourite, but it was a really good game. But I, I know the story back to front. I mean, I played World of Warcraft, the MMO, for about, I don't know, 14 years. So I, I kind of know all about this kind of stuff. And, and despite all that, I'm still kind of at a loss as to what to say here. Because this game is not like I was expecting. It's quite disgusting what's happened here. And it only goes to reiterate what I've been saying for years about big companies with shareholders ruin games. And Blizzard used to be a fantastic company making fantastic games, but now it's, it's unrecognizable from the Blizzard that actually made this game back in 2002. The corporate suits, they don't give a f and they ruin companies. And it's sad, it's sad, sad, really is sad. And I'm not just saying that, it is absolutely, profoundly sad that these big, amazing companies that made some great games have just been ruined by greed. Anyway, let's get on with it. So this is uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged, and Blizzard said that this was a complete reimagining of Warcraft 3, a real-time strategy game that was made in 2002. Now, one of the great things about Warcraft 3 was it was a very versatile game with a good editor. You could even make different types of games in the Warcraft setting. This is where I first was introduced to tower defense games. I mean, you could even have custom campaigns in, within Warcraft 3, completely made by, by the player, along with shit tons of maps and all. It was just an amazing set of tools. You can't do that anymore. There's no custom campaigns. In fact, shall we just quickly go through what you don't get now? I mean, I was always under the impression that when you reimagined something, you took all the good stuff and then added more good stuff. Don't get me wrong, it still does have an editor. In fact, it has a better editor, so you can still create um, custom maps, but you can't do custom campaigns. Anyway, let's go through what has changed. No new custom UI, no custom campaigns, no leaderboard, no clans, no profiles. Every bit of custom content that you make now belongs to Blizzard because of the new T's, T's and C's, guys. But the big kicker is, guys, Warcraft 3 Classic, which still has a huge following, has now been totally integrated into Warcraft 3 Reforged. There's a little slider there where you can switch between the two, but they both use exactly the same infrastructure. So basically now, there is no going back to what Classic was, say, a week ago. That's gone. It's gone. You now have to use this new infrastructure, which doesn't have the custom campaigns and the leaderboards and all that stuff that I've just mentioned. 
I feel so sorry for the actual veterans who keep playing this game and have so for the past 10 years or so that love the game and, and, the, and the iteration that it was in Classic because they've lost the game they loved and they're now forced to play this. That's a travesty. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so, 60 missions, 7 campaigns. That's a lot of content for your money. 30 quid, unless you want the stupid skins, then you pay a lot more. But I just bought the base version of this. And um, I've had fun playing the campaign because the campaign was fun. I haven't finished the campaign. I'm over halfway through it now. Um, but I've had to have a break. I mean, I've been hammering this game for two days now. And it is fun. I love the custom maps as well because you can set your own uh, private server up if you want. I like playing co-op with the AI. I've never been a professional player or a, a big PvP fan in this game. I'm out of touch with it. I haven't played it for like goodness since 2003, I think. But I did set up a few games against the AI and I had a blast. I had fun. And it's got better graphics than it did in 2002. But I don't think the animations is any better. The animations seem a bit off and as well it's not very well optimized i keep getting big frame drops not very often but i get them and when i get them it's annoying and i shouldn't be getting them but you know what i'm really disappointed at and when i do me world of warcraft classic review which is very very soon guys um i've got a similar problem with that but coming back to warcraft 3 reforged there's things that should have been changed i mean for example um, the, the unit groups are so small. I, I don't understand why they haven't redone the UI. They said they were going to redo the UI. Why can't we have bigger groups of units? It's annoying because you can still control the same amount of units. Why can't we put them in bigger groups? I'm sick of having to have three or four different f***ing groups. I mean, it's it, it just hasn't been reimagined. It's just not. They've, they've done no reimagining at all. All they've done to this game is cull a lot of the features that was in Warcraft 3 Classic and give it a bit of a facelift with the actual graphics. But while I'm talking about the graphics, even that has been a bit of a f***ing lie. Because there was a, a, a trailer that I loved in 2018, um, which was showing the culling of Stratholm. And do you know what? When I was doing that exact mission yesterday, I was kind of excited about that because it's always been one of my favorite missions. I even like that in World of Warcraft. It's it's one of the most iconic missions in the whole of lore of Warcraft. And they released this trailer in 2018 showing how it was all redone with new cinematics and everything, new sound, and it was, it was quite stunning. Here it is. Here, I'll play it for you. Oh no. We're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. This entire city must be purged. What? How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. So you can imagine my disappointment when I was actually doing that exact mission yesterday in the game and expecting this amazing cinematic, and I got this. Oh no. <laughs> We're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. This entire city must be purged. What? How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. I mean, what the fuck? Who's in charge of Blizzard? Adam fucking Schiff? Anyway, let's say that you're not a bit interested in anything that happened in WoW Classic. You're a brand new player. You kind of like RTSs. You see this game, should you jump in? My answer is yes. It's worth a buy if you are that player. Because the game is still fun. The way you play the games, it has hero units that you can create. And it also has a whole host of minions with plenty of different races as well to try it's not just like the usual rts game where you have two factions there's a whole load of factions in this with all different types of units which makes the game very fun and it gives you a lot of hours of fun time in the game as well because you can play each different race and have a different perspective on how you fight things that's all good the map design's good as well in the campaign the story's good as well in the campaign it's got a really good story if you are brand Brand new to the whole Warcraft thing and you like real-time strategy I recommend this game to you because it is fun 
And let's just quickly talk about how you play it. So you, you, you build your different buildings. Um, you have stuff like barracks, you have um, farms to feed your troops, you have a unit cap. The more farms you build, the more units you can have, up to a cap of 100. You have buildings that will allow you to upgrade your troops in various different ways, from armor to magic. And like I said earlier on, you have hero units and your hero units can pick up items that's in the game from slain enemies and chests and things. And they will give you different types of buffs. They might just be healing or mana potions, but there could be items of clothing that you wear that give you a boost in certain stats. You also level up as well as your hero units. And as you level up, you get more abilities up to a maximum of four. And these abilities vary through each different class that you choose. You can be a healer, you could be just a damage dealer, you could be a mage where you can cast polymorph, which turns enemies into sheep. You can put all kinds of magic on enemies and things like that. So, so you've got various different units to command and put them at the head of your different armies, which makes it all good fun. Couple that with good map design, good level design, and a shit ton of player created maps then you have shit tons of content and i have to say guys it is definitely worth a buy it does look better than warcraft 3 it has had that facelift and so if you if you were even a fan of warcraft 3 back in the day but like me you've just lost your copy it's probably on a fucking landfill somewhere you know and you, you you haven't got the game anymore it's definitely worth a buy if you just want to play the custom maps and you want to uh, just do the campaigns and do some single player maybe even some multiplayer but if you are an existing warcraft 3 classic player my goodness have you been screwed damn so how do i rate this this is a very how do i score that how do i even begin to score this game because i would thumb it up for new players definitely why wouldn't i but I would definitely thumb this down. I'm gonna thumb it down, guys, because this isn't the droids that we're looking for. This isn't what we were promised. This is nothing like what everybody was expecting. And for that reason, I'm thumbing it down because that's just bad. There's no way in my head can I see any good in what you've done with this game. You have pretty much given the finger to the community. Although I did hear a rumor, guys, that it was the community that pestered Blizzard to, to do this. I don't know. All I know is this. This is not the game that was advertised back in 2018. And for that reason, I'm going to thumb it down with a pretty low score. Damn.